to cracking the cryptic on a thrilling day for us as uh, we launched our Kickstarter yesterday. And as I write, we are closing in on getting to our basic target within 24 hours. Unbelievable. Thank you so much if you've already supported the project. Now, if you haven't, please do, because if we get to the various stretch targets, we will unlock puzzle hunts and um, and new content that we'll commission from some of the greatest Sudoku authors in the world. Um, really looking forward to this. I, you know, I'm really hoping that you that you effectively challenge us to put together the best Sudoku book there's ever been, um, and that should be the outcome. So do have a look onto the uh, Kickstarter page on the first link below the video. Um, really looking forward to it. And talking of that, this puzzle is by the great Ard van der Wetering. See, I'm continually trying to improve my Dutch pronunciation, probably getting nowhere near it, but we'll have to live with that. Now, Ard was, of course, the author of the puzzle in our most viewed video, which has had a bit of a spike over the last couple of days again, for some reason. It's actually closing in towards 5 million views now, which is a number that literally I find incomprehensible. Um, I often find our puzzles incomprehensible. Let's hope that's not the case with this one. He has extended the idea of an XV Sudoku, which is a puzzle in which every time two um, neighboring cells add up to 10 or 5, you get a little V or X between those two cells. He's uh, made this an XV puzzle, which includes XV for every time two cells add up to 15. Now, in an XV puzzle, the negative constraint is very important, so let's not forget that. It means that no two cells without a marking can add up now to 5, 10, or 15 in this version of the puzzle. I've never seen a version which uses the 15. Actually, it's very clever thinking about it, because 5 and 10 use all the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 twice, and the numbers 6, 7, 8, 9 once only in their pairing. But once you bring in 15, that uses everything from 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, twice, which is intriguing, actually, as, a, as an idea. It's, I'm a little surprised nobody's done it before, but I'm certainly looking forward to seeing Ard's implementation of this idea. So do have a go on the link below the video. Um, it's just below the Kickstarter link today. And... I'm going to have a go now, so let's get cracking and see what we can do with this. Now, as you can see, <laughs> rather brilliantly, there is only one example of each of the markings in this puzzle, which is madness. Now, I think that means that the negative constraint is going to be absolutely constantly in evidence in all these other boxes. But let's see if we can make some progress in this central box first. Look, we've been given two sevens, and that's nice because those are all ruled out of those cells, and clearly there can't be a seven in two cells that add up to five. So therefore, the seven must be in these two cells, which must be seven and three to add up to 10. Now we can look, say, at the XV. This adds up to 15. It doesn't include seven. So it's six and nine. And this V, which adds up to five, doesn't include three. So that's one, four. Now the other three cells are two, five, and eight. Um, and you might think we have no information on how to put them in, but actually, remember that if 2 and 8 went together anywhere, they'd need an X between them. So they can't go together there or there. And in fact, 2 and 8 must be separated to avoid having an X in this box, in the, in the top row. And what they are separated by is 5, who is, of course, the ultimate passion killer in XV Sudoku, and even in XV XV Sudoku, if you like. So five goes in between the two and eight. Um, now, can we get out of this central box? We've done that much. Actually, hang on a second. Seven and eight would be 15. I'm so not used to looking for these seven eights and six nine pairs that I might miss some of those. Well, I might miss anything, but I certainly might miss those. But because seven can't be next to an eight without a V that would be on this line, on this border, um, that must be a two there. 
So one and one. One is up here somewhere. Corner market in. Seven and seven. Seven is in one of these cells. Now three can't be next to the seven because there's no um, X marker there. So three can't be in those cells and it can't be in those cells because of those threes. So three is down here somewhere. And with three there, it's up here. And it can't be right, well, I was gonna say it can't be next to the two, but obviously that would also be in the row with three. Um, now, have we got any other? Yes, four and nine can't be next to the one. So the nine is over here, four is over here, given the four and nine feature there. But both are in this group of cells up here. So we are beginning to narrow things down a bit. Um, now, what else can we deduce from this? Five, three, seven, four, nine, one. So these are from two, six, and eight. Um, can't be three. These are from two, four, and five. It's not very helpful. I mean, if this was a six, we'd know this wasn't a four. And if this was a three, we'd know that wasn't a two, but it's not getting us anything done. Um, okay, well, what about up here? We've got two numbers in this row. This cell can't be three or two or eight, six or nine or seven. Can it be any one of one, four and five? No, it can't be four because we've confined four to those cells. So that is one or five. Um, which is more likely? Five might be in those or in those. No, if this was this was, oh, where does six go? That's quite interesting. If six goes, ah, oh, look, yes, yeah, six can't go in these cells, I don't think, because it would have to be next to four or nine. However, you, if this was a six, four, nine triple, obviously six would have to be next to four or nine. That would need either an X or an XV marking. So six is not in that group. It's placed there, so it must be in one of these. I did not see that coming. This is a new thing from having the three relations. There are certain triples, like four, nine, six, must be impossible. So one of these is definitely a six. I was thinking about that because I was wondering what can be, yeah, if this was a one, this couldn't be four or nine because they'd make five or ten. So four and nine, if that was a one, you'd have to have four and nine there. Oh, actually, maybe the interesting thing is if this was a five, because then this would be a two, four pair. This would be five, one, three. Now, the one, wherever it was, couldn't be next to four or nine because that would make five or ten. And it's in one of those two cells if, if this is five. Now that means this cell must be four or nine. So must the one that's not next to the one. Say that's the one. We've got four or nine there, four or nine there. Yeah, no, if this is a five, that fixes everything. We've got two, two, seven, four here. This is one, six, eight. This is three, nine, five. Oh, yes, yes. If this is a five, five down here is in a triple here, three, nine, five. Now that's fine. They can act together in almost any way as far as I can see. But that means this would be six, eight, seven up here. Now six would have to split up the eight, seven, kill the 
kill the passion that would otherwise make them make 15 together. So we'd have to go in the middle. Oh, and that's very interesting because five's here now. And because of what I was just saying, if five's there, this is mad. If five's there, one's on its outside. Four and nine are away from the one, either there or there. And this one is four or nine. But that can't sit next to a six because that'll make 10 or 15. Oh, good God, that is insane. Is, I mean, I don't believe that's necessarily how we're meant to go about this. But having discovered it, I'm definitely using it. So what I'm saying is, if this is five, the fact that that pushes a one into one of these cells means four and nine have to avoid that one in these central cells. This must become four or nine. But at the same time, these have become six, seven, eight, which forces six to split up eight and seven and forces it next to four or nine, breaking the constraint because there's no marking anywhere in the box. And therefore, this can't be five. And that is the one. And that really does help because now this can't be four or nine because that would make five or ten. So we can take out the corner markings, put that in as a definite pair in those two cells. And it hasn't sorted out these things for me at all as I thought it was going to, but surely. Yeah, what can this be? Yes, this beautiful. This now can't be 537 for a triple there. It can't be 1 or 2. It can't be 4 or 9. So it's 6 or 8. But it's never six, because that must be sitting next to a four in one of those cells. That's brilliant. That's an eight. And that is really helpful. Now we've got a three nine eight triple here. Um, is there any love between those numbers? I don't think so. But it gets rid of eight out of here. So that's a two six pair. That gets rid of two out of here. It's a four five pair. That means this is now a 2-3 pair. This is a 6-5-6-7 a five, six, seven triple. I've got in trouble with this. I'm not always listing triples in order, sorry. Um, can't help that. Now, this can't be a 7 because it's next to an 8. Um, ah, 8 can't be next to a 2. Yes. So that's 3. No, oh, I think it's going to Okay, what else am I missing? Um, oh, now can I really not sort these out any more than that? It looks so promising. I might, I mean, you're probably shouting at something that I can't see a negative constraint here, but I can't see it. So, Three, three, three can't be next to two without marking. So three's up there somewhere. Eight is up here somewhere. Um, ooh, three can't be there, and it can't be there because it would be next to seven. So there's another three over here. That's not very helpful. Um, two. Can't be there, or I mean, because it's there and there, and it can't be there. It's in one of those two cells. Away from the eight, annoyingly. Gosh, this is a strange, magical puzzle. Um, right. What am I missing? I must be missing something more that we can make some better. That was a four, that couldn't be six. If that was a two, that couldn't be three. If that was a one, that couldn't be nine. And these are all just what ifs are. This can't be a nine for the same reason because it's next to a one. That's not that nice either. Um, hmm, what is the next step? Oh, seven. 
7 can't be there, and it can't be next to the 3, because there'd have to be a marker. Oh, look, 7 can't be here, because now we know it would be next to an 8, and that would need a 15 marker. So 7 is here, and that fixes the 2. 7's down in one of these. Um, 2, that's a useless 2. No, that's not 7. Ah, so 7's fixed here now. Sorry. Style. And it can't be there, because that would be 15 next to the 8. So, how are we doing in this row? We need 6, 5, 4, and 9. Six can't be here because it would be next to four or nine there, and that would need a marker. Right. So we'll lose four, five, or nine there. This one could be any of them, could it? Four, five, six, or nine. And that missing. Um, six can never be next to four, can it? So five, four, nine, six, that is possible. I was going to try and rule four out from there, but I can't do that. So what do we need in this row? One, five, six, four, and nine. Now, lots of those can't go together. And that four can't go with six. Six can't go with nine. Four can't go with one. Ah, oh, look, yes. Yes, this is a really interesting relationship. Four and nine are five apart. So neither can go with six because they'll make a multiple of five. So that can't be six. That's five. Ah, oh, now that's six. So this can't be four or nine now, so that's five. And we're left, are we, with a four, nine pair? Yes. Wow, this is um, Three can't be there now, so three's up there. Yes, now look, along this row, we've got one, six, four, and nine to place. Now, we can't use 4, 6, 6, 9, or 1, 9 of those 6 combos. Not together. So if 4 was here, it can't go with 1 because that makes 5. It can't go with 6 because that makes 10. It can't go with 9, not because it makes 13, which isn't a problem, but because if you put 4 and 9 here, there's too many 4s and 9s in those rows and boxes. So 4 is not in one of those cells. Therefore, it's either 1, 6, 6, 9, or 1, 9. And both 6, 9 and 1, 9 are multiples of 5. Brilliant. So that's 1, 6. So we've got the other of 4, 9 there. Now up here we have a 1, 6, 8 triple now. Ah, and 4 and 9 can't be next to either of 1 or 6. I mean, this is the absolute takeaway here. Neither of 4 and 9 can ever be next to 1 or 6 because they will always make a multiple of 5. So that's an 8. We have a 1, 6 pair there. Now up here we have a 5 and 1 of 4 or 9. I don't think there's any way of figuring that out. Now where do we go? This can't be 1 or 6 because of what we've just learned about 4 or 9. So it also can't be 7, 2, 5, 8 or 3. So it is 4 or 9 as well. Now these two can't be 1 or 6. Um, and that means 1 and 6, because that can't be 1 or 6, 1 and 6 must both be up here, 
along with the three, forming a triple. So that's four or nine as well. Now we've got a four nine pair in both the box and the column. These can't be one or six, which almost feels helpful, except one and six could be together or apart in the rest of the box. And that doesn't resolve any of these. Ah, oh, this is a mad puzzle. How do we get any further? Oh, okay, look at this, look at these two cells. They're both next to either one or four. And we know that that means, oh no, I was going to say that they can't be, no, it doesn't mean anything. Well, it means they can't be one or four. Now, they couldn't be a four because four being placed there, but it does mean they can't be one. So they're not five, two, seven, four, nine, or one. They're from three, six, and eight. Now, if one of them's a six, it can't be next to the four, then that's not. Not completely told. Um, no, it's not. Six and nine, they're not as useful. The one four combo is useful. But, oh, I suppose six and nine mean neither of these can be a nine. Is that any use in the same way? Can't be one, three, six, nine, or two. So they're from four, five, seven, or eight. That is not useful. Well, not that that's been useful, but it just felt like it was better. What about this number? Really? No, I mean, we already knew it couldn't be two or seven, which is what's keeping those at bay. Ah. Uh. Missed, I might have missed something from what we've produced already. There might be another negative constraint crying at me. Five's definitely in one of those cells. Work. But as five is the ultimate number that tells you nothing, it's not that helpful. Seven being down there. I suppose we could pull the same trick and say eight can't be in between those two possible sevens, but that's not very useful at the moment. Oh, this can't be eight, because it's next to the seven, of course. I didn't think of that. Um, just, these just don't look any use at all, because of the variability of the options in column four. How are we going to make progress? Can't be six. Both of these can't be six because they're next to four or nine. So that means either that cell or that cell is a six. It's not very productive now. Oh, this can't be a three either for goodness. So all right, seven and three is 10. There we go. Okay, so that was telling a story a while ago. and You were getting annoyed with me and with good reason. Right, nine is now confined to one of those cells. Can't be next to a one or a six, but it couldn't be anyway because they're up here. Um, ah, six can't be next to four. That's what we get here. Seven can't resolve those, amazingly. Six can't be next to four again down here. Four can't be next to six again down there. Exactly the same relationship every time. Um, two can't be next to three or eight, so that's a nine. Now this three, eight pair, three can't be next to seven or two. Eight can't be next to seven or two as well. Oh, so that means two and seven can't be here. Five, two, seven, six. Uh, no. How about here, though? Five, two, seven, six. That can't be six anymore. 
527694. This can't be a 1 because it's next to a 9. So now we've got a 3, 8 pair. That can't be 6 anymore, obviously, by Sudoku. And that 3, 8 pair means that we get a 4, 9 pair in there. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything there, but I didn't realize I was missing the relations that seven had for a long time. Oh, one, nine, seven, six. One is in one of these cells. Um, that's fine. Three is in one of these three. Ah, two now can't be there. And interestingly, it can't be there because it would have to be next to a three. So two's in one of those three. Where's eight? Eight, for the same sort of reason, can't be there because it would be next to a two. And that eight means it can't be there. So eight's in one of these two cells. Which means it's not here. And also this can't be a four now. So it's five or seven. Actually, let's put in the five possibilities here. Take out the corner marks. Just because those are the remaining candidates, I think. So, just want to see clear how that's helping or not helping. And I might be missing another relationship, for instance, two and eight. Right. Um, One, three, six. So four is in one of these cells. Um, very helpful, sorry. Oh, so seven we know is down here. Ah, now interestingly, eight can't be in any of those. Hmm. I know it can't be there because that would destroy this seven possibility, but it looks like at the moment it could be opposite the seven, separated from it, or there. Uh, um, hmm. oh, it's got to be something more here as well. I mean, I really feel like made phenomenal progress in some parts of this puzzle and then just continually getting stuck somewhere else. It's so difficult. Right, six, one, nine across the middle. Oh, it's the same reason. Six, three, four, nine that we've done down there. So this is two, five, or eight. And it's not eight for the reasons we've said, because it would be next to a seven. That's two or five. That's a pair with that one. So we can take two, five out of row six, column one. That's either one or eight. And these are from one, seven, eight, twelve. Is that any use? If that was a two, that would make sure the eight was there. I can't see why. That's a problem. Let me put eight over here as well. Oh, interesting though. If it was a five, that would put a two here. Now this would have to be a five because two, three can't be next to each other. Oh, in fact, that's vital, isn't it? Didn't I say? No, two could still be there. Ah. Oh. That was two, that would be five. Six, nine, three would have to be here if there's nowhere else for it in the row. Four would have to separate seven and eight. I can't see why not. Nine, two, five down here. Six, seven, four, and one, three, eight. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Six, three, four, nine, that two, five, pair. It's so surprising, but. 
it a problem for any reason? Five, of course, as I said, is a complete passion play. You just can't deduce anything from it. Um, one, two, four, and six. Six is in one of these two cells, just by Sudoku. Um, and it can't, well, oh no, six can't be in this cell because it would be next to four or nine. Okay, that is a useful deduction. So six is there. Therefore, there's a six over here. Say it's a useful deduction. I get nothing else from it. This is two, three, or five. As is, no, what's this? Eight, seven, six, four, nine, five. That's one, two, or three. This can't be one because it's next to four or nine. Ah, so these two are a one, seven pair because there's nowhere else in the box for them to go. So that's eight. And that means this isn't two. Um, that's three. This is where one must go in the box. Actually, have I been just missing that that was the only place for one? For a while, I might well have been. Uh, that's now three. That's now eight. Uh, this is two because of the five we got in column one. That's five. Let's take out the corner marks now. Can we really not resolve these others? Must be missing something there. Okay, six, eight, nine, two, four. So these are from one, three, five, seven. Now this can't be one because it's next to four. This can't be seven. That's three. Seven can never be next to three. And three must be in one of those. So the other one can't be seven. That can't be seven specifically, because it would put three there. Probably just missing something. Oh yes, that seven is impossible because it would be next to a three. So that's why I'm missing seven there. So we've got we didn't actually resolve all that. But this three, yeah, sorry, that has fixed that eight three for a while. Still can't do that four and nine. But these are from two, four, seven, and nine. This can't be two, this can't be seven. Eight and six are definitely involved here. Eight's in one of those two. Four and nine are the other two. Ah, six can never be next to four or nine. So there's no way six could be in the middle because one of four or nine would have to flank it. Uh, if that was six, this would have to be eight. If that was six, this would have to be eight. So either way around. That's brilliant. Either way around, this is eight to stop the six getting busy with four or nine. These are from four, six, and nine. That eight can't be next to a two, so two is there in the box. The last two in the grid goes in there. That fixes nine. That takes nine out of here. Uh, ah, up here it makes that a four. So we get all our four nines suddenly resolved from the far end. Um, yes, even those two. Those can't have four. Four, four, eight, nine, two. This is now six. Four nine pair, so that's seven. That's five. This is four or eight. Okay, this isn't three anymore. And it's not six, it's a one. Five and seven to complete in the final column. Yes. Still these four nine pairs knocking around. So that one has sorted out the six one pair. That sorts out the six three pair. Home straight now. Nine and five. Four. Yeah, that's the four. That's the nine back over here. Four and nine, eight. Wow, what a puzzle. That feels like an absolute marathon. Uh, so let's do the right numbers at the end. Hit the check button. Looks good to me. I do hope I haven't slipped up and left some 
five, 10 or 15 combination somewhere that I didn't spot. That really is a work of brilliance, as always, from Ard. Lovely puzzle. I mean, seriously forcing the effort from, from one there. I hope you had a go at that. And I hope you got through it if you did, because that's a piece of work. Now, there may be some better break in than that bizarre logic at the beginning with that five not being possible there. Um, and I'd be very interested to hear after the central box, which I'm sure must be everybody's start, where could you get going if it wasn't up here? Do let me know. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Do um, support the Kickstarter. Subscribe if you haven't. If you've come recently to the channel, do join us. There's the Discord server as well, also in the uh, description field links. And um, loads going on all the time there and on Patreon. Uh, really hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye for now.